So, I guess this is it, huh? You know, I always thought that I'd be ready, but now that we're here, I feel such apprehension. I know the layout of their castle based on past reconnaissance, but when we stole the Blade of Exodus, they weren't expecting us. They know we're here now. For us, this will be a purely uphill battle. Look at me, freaking out. I don't mean to bring down your morale. Let's change the subject, all right? Is there any wine in this place? Of course there isn't. You know, I thought it'd be a given. August is all alone, with nothing but his books and imagination. If there's any type of person who'd live off of wine, it'd be him. It's a lonely life, being a writer. It really is. You pour so much emotion into it that you almost run out. Everyone thinks you're giving them the cold shoulder, but you're not. Writing is art. Nobody questions the secluded painter, you know? But the second you close yourself off to write, you're troubled. So many people see it as a joke of a career choice. I almost let that get me down when I was younger. They told me that a writer could never make a decent living. I could have easily given up, but instead, I created a legacy. And that's what scares me. Even when I give up the swindling life, that won't be enough. Everyone will remember me for who I was, not who I am. And let's be honest, I'm not one of the good guys. I stole secrets, sold them, and ruined people's lives. <laughs> Look what I did to the Rebellion. That's unforgivable. I think I might die during the attack, Monarch. There's no place for me in your new peaceful world. Even if I change, the harm I did will always haunt me. I know we want to be together, but it's difficult. You don't understand how many people I've wronged in the past. If they seek revenge, they might just target the people I love. And I don't want you to get hurt just because I was a bad person. I could turn a new leaf, but that doesn't mean my enemies will too. If we're together, you might always be a target. It makes me scared. Together? I just fear that the end is closer than we think. If this could be our last night together, what do I do? How do I press forward knowing that we might lose each other? Uh, are you sure? I mean, I don't want to rush anything. I've, I've never really done this with anyone before. You're right. I want this. And if we both survive, you'll still want me? 
We can put the past behind us and tackle the future. I've done a lot, you know, so your forgiveness means 